And breaking news right off the top here on Eyewitness News at 6. We're just getting some new details about that deadly shooting today involving sheriff's deputies in Harnett County. Thanks for joining us live from downtown Raleigh. I'm Steve Daniels. And I'm Lauren Johnson. This investigation started around 815 this morning along the 200 block of Capitol Hill Road. That's right off South River Road near Lillington. Our Michael Perchick has been on scene all day. He joins us now after just getting an update from the sheriff's office. Hi, Michael. Steve, Lauren, that's information coming in in the past 30 minutes or so when this scene finally broke down. Here is what we know. This from the Harnett County Sheriff's Office. They say that initial call came in shortly after 815 this morning from a family member of a person here along the 200 block of Capitol Hill Road for an alleged mental health episode. The deputy spoke with a family member and friend and advised to speak with a magistrate about this case. At that point, an involuntary commitment order was secured by a family member. Additional deputies arrived on scene to try and take that person into custody. That towards the deputies. Deputies then individual tonight. Neighbors sharing their reaction to what unfolded. Inside crochet in a little outfit for a friend of mine and um, I, I was just sitting there and then the phone rang at the same time and so I'm listening to my sister and then I heard bah, 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 bah. But it, it, it isn't that unusual. I did know and recognize it being a handgun. And to that point, this is a fairly secluded rural area. The presence of gunshots, especially in the more uh, wild areas per se, uh, is not exactly uncommon. So while there are plenty of neighbors who heard that gunfire came off, we could not find any of them who saw the initial presence of law enforcement coming to the scene. Some were surprised after returning from a, a morning errand to see part of this stretch blocked off as it was for much of the day. It has since reopened uh, in the past half hour or so. Now, there are still plenty of questions which remain unanswered tonight, including the names of the person who was killed, as well as those of the deputies involved. Also not released, the number of shots fired by the deputies or where that individual was struck. That's all part of this active investigation. The SBI uh, was called to the scene as a standard protocol for any law enforcement involved shooting. We saw uh, members of their force actually going door to door throughout the afternoon, trying to gather evidence, speak to those who may have seen or heard something as they try and piece together how this all came to be. The sheriff's office, the names of those involved will be released at a future date. Did not give any specifics to that point. We will, of course, stay on top of this, working to learn more information. But again, Steve Lauren, that breaking uh, information coming into our newsroom in the past half hour, certainly shedding some more light about what led up to those shots being fired this morning in Harnett County. Uh, Michael Perchick, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.